Hello, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today you have got me. Last week my husband did the grocery shopping and the haul. Um, I was at work and I couldn't make it in time. And he absolutely loved the comments. <laughs> he was super happy this week. So thank you so much for all of the positive, wonderful feedback that you left for him. He really enjoyed it. He offered to do it today. But I feel like if I keep saying yes, then I might as well just give the channel to him. And I'll be really sad about it. <laughs> completely taking over so I've said no you've got me apologies if that is not great <laughs> um I'll try my best to be as good as him honestly he was loving the feedback and I think he quite enjoyed it actually so um this week we went to Tesco and I nipped to Marks and Spencers and I'm also going to do a meal plan with you so I'm going to take you through this week's grocery haul. For some reason, Tesco came to £98, and I do not know why. I actually don't know why, because I was picking some bits up, but we've not really got a full lot of meals here anyway, um, and I'm just a bit baffled at the price. Honestly, I probably need to check my receipt again, because I feel like this time it was really expensive. Um, for my meal plan this week, I've just had a delivery off um, the uh, wholesalers, like the supply chain who I get all of my gifts from for my Etsy store so I've had a new drop arrive this morning I've just uploaded them all onto Etsy and one of the things that I decided to get this time for the Christmas drop are these beautiful meal or day planners I absolutely love them they're in this gorgeous like wooden frame this is cork board and it comes with a pin so it comes with this piece piece of paper but obviously put what you want on there um and then this it comes with a pen and some ma magnets and this is going to be for me anyway the meals of the week and what I'm going to have from the shopping so really happy with these they are on my Etsy channel I'll link it in the description below but what I'm actually doing this week for dinners we're starting where we, it's Saturday today so we're starting here and then we're going to work down so I've decided to just have leftover pizza we had a takeaway last night and we had we bought two large pizzas because we're very greedy and half of the pizzas did not get eaten on both pizzas so we were like okay we'll just use them tomorrow so we're going to have leftover pizza for tonight's tea and then on Sunday, we're having um, jacket spuds. I've put jacket spuds. I think it's just called either spuds or jacket potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, so jacket potatoes. I like tuna and cheese on mine. My husband likes beans and cheese, which I think he told you last week. Um, we had them this week just gone, and they were really tasty. We did them in the oven for like an hour and 20 minutes. Usually, I do them in the air fryer for like 40 minutes. But the oven really crisped them up. They were delicious. So jacket spuds tomorrow. And then on Monday, we actually, my husband brought chicken last week. If you watched last week's grocery haul, he explained about the chicken from Iceland, like the chicken strips. We used the chicken balls last week in, in a dinner and it was, it was okay. The texture was a little bit soft for me, a little bit soggy inside, but I didn't mind them. Um, the chicken strips that we like from Iceland are always delicious. So we're going to have these in wraps on Monday. We never got round to eating the gammon last week either, which he filmed. So we're going to have gammon and egg this week, which with chips as well, which will be a nice little side. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have pesto in Kiev's. I'll show you the stuff for that. Thursday, balls in pasta. I've brought the stuff for that. I'd have left Friday blank because we'll probably end up having a takeaway. And then if we do have leftovers next Saturday, we'll use the leftovers for that. So that is the meals for this week on my new fancy board. My husband also painted last week. Um, he's been really busy in his week off <laughs> filming grocery hauls, <laughs> narrating YouTube channels and painting. So he's done the kitchen and this gorgeous olive green. Um, I've just ordered a new sideboard from Amazon to replace those drawers. That's just going to go there. And then he got these photos from, I can't remember now where he bought them from actually. Um, but he bought them ages ago, put them in them frames. And then he decided to put all of our chopping boards on the wall as a centerpiece. And I absolutely love it. I love the colour because I I really think it suits like the country style kitchen that we've got it is stunning so he's done that um and yeah let me move actually to the food if that's what you actually came for then I do apologize I've just spent three minutes wobbling on about something else so for this week's dinner I picked up a cucumber I got some chives for meatballs oh I didn't put them on the planner 
actually, yeah, I might swap the Friday round when I've left it for leftovers um, from a takeaway because I bought some meatballs and I was going to do meatballs with creme fraiche and a chive sauce. So I'm probably still going to do that. So I got some chives for that. And then I got some broccoli to go with our pesto and our chicken Kievs. We love this tender stem broccoli, salt and pepper, olive oil in the air fryer, roast it a little bit. It's absolutely delicious. Some dairy cheese spread, quite a big pot of that. A cucumber for sandwiches. Cheese and cucumber sandwiches are so good. And then I also got these again. I brought these two weeks ago and they were really tasty last time. So I went on the hunt for them and I found them for £2 on Club Card. They are the Greek style extra creamy strawberry yogurts. You get four, but there's a strawberry compote at the bottom and they are so tasty. So I picked up some of those. I got some innocent smoothie. This is the strawberry and banana. I love this. I also got some Balvita. Now these are new. These were three pounds, which probably explains the cost of the grocery haul. Think, you know, thinking about actually what I brought. I did buy the innocent branded stuff, which is always quite expensive and the Balvita. Um, but these are apricot filled and I've never, I like soft bakes. I like them in the morning for breakfast but I've never had apricot filled and I love apricots so I thought these would be really tasty I picked up some Evian water I also nipped into Marks and Spencer's next to Tesco and I just got some creme fraiche from there because I forgot it at Tesco so I got some of that for the meatballs and then I got some jacket potatoes for Sunday's dinner I got some toothpaste, I got some Corsadil because I saw this as a new product and it was £3 and I thought, oh, I'll try that one to go along with the Corsadil mouthwash. And I also got some of the Colgate as well, just to have in. Picked up some dates, I think I'll take these to work with me and snack on them. They are the best dates ever. At Christmas, they fill these with marzipan and they are just unreal, but they've not come out yet. So I picked up some of these to keep in, uh, well, I'll take them to work, not in the cupboard. Uh, my husband got some bounties and then for Christmas stockings I needed to get some chocolate oranges so this is a um, Terry's chocolate orange and this is the chocolate mint they're 150 a piece so they're for Christmas presents they won't be staying in the kitchen else we will eat them I also got these for 125 chocolate gems I think I bought these before but many many months ago five little bags just little snack bags I think they've already been opened so I'll show you the size of them tiny little things but tasty nonetheless so I got some of those I got a what is this my husband picked this up it is a is it a lemon or a lime it's a lime. I've just confirmed. <laughs> so I picked up a lime. This was 2 50 Lure Pack. When it's on offer, I like to get it. So I got one of these. We don't need butter, but it'll come in handy as the weeks go forward. Um, I also got the breaded garlic chicken Kievs for when we have pesto with the broccoli. Um, I've had these before. They are very nice. We're going to put these in the air fryer. Meatballs for my chive sauce with the creme fraiche. I'm going to have to get this on the menu this week because I completely forgot I brought them. Um, so they're going to go in the fridge. I got some raspberries to eat today and tomorrow. They look so, so good. And the grapes look really nice as well. They'll probably only last me a couple of days, but I picked up some green grapes. I got some cherry tomatoes to go with the boars in. So I showed on the meal planner some boars in pasta, which we're going to have. We have this with cherry tomatoes. We roast them in the air fryer. We add the boars in pasta, bake it for... 10 15 minutes watch it because it can burn stick some pasta in it makes a delicious dinner a pot of joy was 150 and it really is a pot of joy it brings me so much joy <laughs> um i absolutely love the cabbage so i got one of those my husband picked up a flake i also got some milk chocolate ganache because these were 225 and i don't necessarily i've just brought some yogurts the greek style yogurts with the strawberry so i didn't need to buy these but because i walked past them and i picked up that i was like oh they're such a good price i'll get them and keep them in the fridge but really shouldn't be doing that got some of these for two pound fifty they're on offer so i picked up the cherry strawberry and apple my i think in last week's video my husband was trying to call me out and start beef with me <laughs> on my um smoothie pouches i think he was trying to say like I don't know what I don't know what he was trying to say, but he was. I watched it back and he mentioned buying them and that they were just for kids. And I actually had them in my lunch take to work, and I'm an adult, so we'll, we'll forgive we'll give, forgive him and move on from that. But I did buy two more boxes because I do really like them: cherry, strawberry, and apple, and orange, mango, and pineapple. We've got two boxes of those. Some milk, cheese strings. They were Aldi price matched this time. I think actually most of the time they're Aldi price matched, so they were like over two quid. 
I got some, what is this? Fake Parmesan, the Creamfields one. That's less than £2. It's cheaper than Aldi. So we've got that. We're not going to use it this week, but because we were there, we saw it, we thought we'd just pick it up for the fridge. I also bought some of this, which I won't be using this week, but this was £2.75. And it was on such a good club card price that I thought I'd get it in for Christmas. So, and it will last until then. So this is the Pilgrim's Choice Mature Cheddar. And it's a 350 gram block. That's a really good price. Two for four on the sliced cheese I put this in sandwiches so i got gouda and eden for four pound a piece um i picked up some mashed potato for pies we're gonna have pies which are in the freezer and mashed potato now not this week because my planner is full but my menu planner but i'll keep that in the freezer for next week this was a splurge at the end of the aisle moment, which I don't regret actually, but I got a five pack of the Dairy Milk Snowmen. They're the tiniest little things, and I didn't buy any like biscuity items from Tesco, although I was saying that I did get some from Marks, so I'll show you them afterwards. But um, yeah, I was like, oh, I'll take these. I think they're going to be quite nice. So I got a little five pack of these. I've never tried them. So I got some of those snowmen. We got four tins of baked beans for jacket potatoes. The rest we'll keep for beans on toast or something in the cupboard some oranges for work i absolutely love these oranges the bigger the better they just so refreshing especially like a few hours in i work on a construction site in the office so a few hours in and i'm like it's an early start and i just need something as a pick me up and i do prefer taking fruit rather than this kind of stuff i don't really like taking that um so yeah got some fruit got some oranges for that picked up a chocolate apple my husband wanted this it's a white chocolate apple with sugar strands we got some shower gel the dove one we also got some hand wash this was 175 this is the bayless and harden i just thought it was very christmasy we actually have hand washing but i loved the color of this so it will come in handy as the weeks go on and it's the mid midnight fig and pomegranate bayless and harden Bosin cheese for the pasta that we stick in the air fryer, a bottle of orange tango. I'm not keen on all. I like the apple tango, but orange tango is not my favourite. I also got from Marks and Spencer's some outrageously chocolatey white biscuits. I did say I didn't buy any from Tesco, but then I went to Marks and I bought some from Marks. So I got some of those. I love these biscuits. Three pounds for this um like paper kind of feel. I think it is paper tablecloth from Marks and Spencer's. It is gorgeous. It's the Christmas string lights. It was really pretty. It is paper, isn't it? I've just said it's paper. I hate that it is. It's not going to tell me now, but it feels paper. It feels very like you could tear it, um, but it's lovely. It's so beautiful for three pounds. So I picked up that for in our town. We live in a market town in the countryside and we have in December like a Christmas market where Santa comes, reindeers come, real reindeers, um, stalls and then like Christmas food. And it's honestly the best evening. My family come over as well. They travel like over an hour to come. The little kids go and see Santa in the church. It is a really nice special evening. Um, we did it last year and then we just came back and had like food and nibbly bits here. So I thought this year we would have jacket potatoes rather than spending six, seven quid each on like a cob, um, like a burger or a, I think it was a hog roast cob last time. Um, we'll just have jacket potatoes at home. So I wanted to get a tablecloth for when the family come and make it really special but like a budget so this was only three quid so I picked up one of those I also got these for my granddad this I brought him some port from Costco which you'll see on my Costco haul that I think has already gone up Costco gifts and Christmas toys um I did a haul there and I showed you the Christmas gifts that I got for my granddad and then I wanted something extra to go with it so I picked up these m and food collection box of jewels and i just thought it would make a really nice gift they are inside these flavors and i just think it's a really pretty little thing just to add you know towards the gift and they were six pound fifty i think I also got some marshmallows. I've not had these for ages, but it's coming up to that season and I do like a hot chocolate. To be fair, these are absolutely massive, probably too big to go in a hot chocolate, but I've just not had them for such a long time. So I was like, okay, I'll take a bag of these home. My husband picked up some of these softies. He loves the caterpillar ones. And I also got some of the hazelnut wafer mini rolls. Now these are addictive, actually addictive. Delicious, £1.50 a bag, but so nice inside. Really thick with a smooth hazelnut filling. 
and crunchy on the outside they're just a perfect snack so picked up some of those from marks as well i think i spent about i don't know 12 13 pound in marks with this stuff but mainly that was this christmas gift and then from Tesco, like I said, it was near enough a hundred pound, and I don't know why. Um, it, I feel like we overpaid this time. I, I can't unless I'm missing a bag of shopping, because <laughs> here to look at it, you just don't think it's going to be that much. But yeah, anyway, that's what we got from the um, grocery haul this week for the food shop. I hope that you've enjoyed watching. I'll link my Etsy store in the description below if you're interested to see what new products have arrived this time. Thanks so much for your support. Thank you again so much for your lovely comments to my husband. Honestly, you made his week. He absolutely loved it. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!